guys, welcome to today's video. It's going to be a review and swatches of the new MAC palette. This is from the Brooke Shields collection and it has 15 eyeshadows all in this sort of grey palette and yeah, I love this. Um, I've actually never bought anything from a MAC limited edition collection. They always just sort of pass me by and I just haven't, I don't know, I just haven't ordered anything. I've either been too slow or like not wanted to buy it at that time and stuff like that but I sort of did some MAC eyeshadow maths when I was ordering this and this palette is £70 and that obviously in comparison to other palettes is pretty pricey but if you own a MAC palette which you've done yourself then you'll know that each pan is £10 so 15 shadows would be £150 and it is kind of crazy that MAC shadows are just so expensive but I thought that there was a lot of shades in here that I, w I knew I wanted to try anyway and I wanted to put in my own MAC palette but I thought since there's so many of them in here anyway I'll just order this and then yeah not buy any new MAC eyeshadows for a while. So the original MAC palettes, the sort of permanent ones are black like this. This is my MAC palette which has a whole host of different brands in it actually but yeah this is my MAC palette and these here are the MAC shadows and then I've got some other things, bits and pieces. but. Yeah, this is what it looks like, so it's just the exact same palette apart from it's in a grey colour and it says MAC Brook Shields on the front. So I'm just going to talk through each shade and show you swatches. Um, and I'm going to go row by row. So starting in the top left I'm corner. I'm sort of just checking to make sure I get everything right, but yeah. The first shade is Pretty here and it has a satin finish and it's described as a soft golden peach beige and it's a really pretty sort of lid shade I'd say. It just has a nice sort of sheen to it and it's sort of my skin colour so it's just perfect for adding that sort of natural sheen to the eyelid um yeah just putting it all over the lid. So pretty is not a permanent shade in the collection so that's sort of um exclusive to this palette. The next shade is permanent and it is called soft brown and this is one of the shades that I knew I wanted anyway, it's sort of been on my wish list for a really long time. And it is a matte shadow. It's described as a soft golden peach brown and that's pretty accurate. I'd say it's sort of definitely got peachy undertones and maybe a little bit of pink in there as well. But it's just a gorgeous crease colour and I sort of hear people talking about it all the time and it was one of those colours that is just so universal. And yeah, it's just the perfect crease colour. I have it in my crease today, I don't know if you can sort of see it but yeah I have it in my crease today and it's just perfect crease colour so you can buy that one separately in the permanent collection. The next shade is called Expensive Pink and this is a Velux Pearl finish so it's quite a shimmery finish. It's actually a duochrome shadow so it's got pink and sort of coppery tones in it. Well I guess copper and sort of corally tones. It's really gorgeous and really a perfect full shade to wear on the eyes. Again this is a permanent shade so you can purchase it separately. The next shade is called Clove and it's sort of a warm golden brown. It's a satin finished shadow but it's pretty much completely matte when you swatch it and when you put it on the eyes. It's definitely one you can sort of use in the crease um, along with soft brown. It's a little bit darker than that and just a little bit warmer. I think this shade is really really gorgeous and this isn't a permanent shade so this is a sort of limited edition shade for this palette and it's so pretty and I think I'll definitely be getting a lot of use out of that one. It's so nice to have soft brown and clove in there because they'll just pair perfectly and it just gives you a bit more options for crease colours. The next shade, the last one on the top row is Satin Taupe and this is another shade which I've wanted to try out for ages and I'm wearing it all over my lid today on the main part of my lid and then there's some dark shades in the outer corner but yeah if you can sort of see that it's a really really gorgeous shadow it has a frost finish so it's sort of sheeny rather than shimmery it's sort of this taupey silvery color um yeah it's kind of like lilac silver it's really really pretty i feel like when i put it on the lid it sort of showed a bit more silvery taupe rather than the lilac but when i swatch it, it does look a bit like it's got some brown and purple in it so it's really really gorgeous and that one will be perfect for sort of Christmas time. Um, I think it's a really sort of festive colour, just really nice. Okay, so onto the second row, we'll start off with this first shade here, which is Canter, and it's another frost finish. And this is a 
gorgeous sort of gold shade. It sort of reminds me of nylon. This is a um, limited edition shade. It's quite a bright sort of gold shade, could be good for sort of inner corners of the eye and like I said it does remind me quite a lot of nylon. I don't actually have nylon anymore, I sold it in my vlog sale but I used to have that and I don't know, I just didn't reach for it enough with all my other shades. It's sort of nice to just have it in the palette because if I'm using that palette then I can use that as an inner corner highlight or whatever so it's a really really pretty bright light gold. Next up is Luscious which is another frost finish and I haven't actually played with this one yet but it's more of a warm bronzy gold and slightly darker and it's another gorgeous one perfect for full time and just really pretty and yeah if you like those sort of bronzy gold shades that's a really nice one this is another limited edition colour right in the middle of the palette is Antiqued and this is a Velux Pearl finish and I actually have Antiqued as a single eyeshadow already and I love it it's one of my favourite sort of autumn shades and I particularly like it to wear in sort of the outer corner but you can just put it all over the lid um, it's so pretty it's like a sort of like a burnt bronzy colour with sort of red red tones in it really really pretty and blends up really nicely next up on the middle row we have Psych which is another frost finish and this is another one that reminds me of an, a shadow I had before um, Sumptuous Olive which is another one that I sold actually and it's just a sort of olive shadow so sort of greeny gold shadow really really pretty next up is carbon which is just a matte black shade i've always sort of heard mixed reviews on carbon i've never actually used it myself but it isn't a sort of super pigmented black it sort of does swatch slightly patchy so if you're looking for sort of a black that isn't too intense then that's what carbon is basically so this is a permanent shadow and um i don't tend to go for black shades too often actually black eyeshadows that is unless i'm using it as sort of a liner so i think this one might be one that i can use to sort of blend into the outer corner and stuff like that without it being too intense so that's carbon okay we're on to the third and final row now so the, in the bottom left corner is shroom and this is one that i wanted as well sort of on my wish list and this is a satin finish I think I have seen quite a few YouTubers use this as a sort of highlight shade. It's just quite a pale cream shade with some shimmer to it. So yeah, this is a permanent shadow. It has amazing colour payoff just as I'm swatching it there. I've got like a thousand swatches on my hand. But I have it on, under my brow bone today and I find that because it's just more of a lighter shade, it shows up on my paler skin and that's really nice. So that's Shroom. And again, satin finish, it's not super shimmery, and I don't mind a little bit of shimmer under my brow bone, so that is Shroom, perfect for paler skin tones. Next up is Persuade, and this is a matte finish, and this is sort of a taupey grey colour. I don't have many grey shadows, so I think that will be a good one for me. Sort of hints of brown, but mostly grey, so that's there, and I think that would be quite a good brow shade for some people, it might be a bit light for my brows, but... That's a good matte shade then. And the next shade is so pretty. Just look at that. It's called Plumbed and it's a Vlux Pearl finish. And this is just a really berry shade. And I love purples. It sort of has plummy red undertones. It's really gorgeous. I feel like it applies slightly more red than it looks in the pan because it definitely looks like a straight purple in the pan. But it applies a bit more red on the lid. And then next up we have Lofty, which is a satin finish, and this applies fairly matte, sort of a dark, deep brown shade, very cool undertones. Yeah, it sort of has a semi-matte finish, but it's just a really good one for sort of darkening things up and making, adding a bit more drama. And then finally the last shade is called Pepper, it has a velvet finish, so this is the only velvet finish in the palette. And it's just a sort of dark grey, yeah, just a sort of cool dark grey shade. So that's all the shades in the Brook Shields MAC palette. I bought mine off the MAC website, but I'm pretty sure it's out of stock now, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to find it anywhere else, but um, it's a really gorgeous palette. I feel like it is so autumn for appropriate. The tones, the sort of, especially sort of these six tones here are just perfect, perfect, perfect for fall you can just look at them and you can see all of the oranges reds olives that kind of thing and then even the purples it's just sort of that perfect fall palette 
and it's definitely pricey at £70 but I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this and yeah I think since I don't um, sort of go for the limited collection MAC collection very often I thought I would just grab this one because yeah it's beautiful. I'm going to have a sort of tutorial up of this on Saturday that will be my next video and I'm gonna I haven't filmed that yet I was thinking about filming it today but yeah I'm not feeling 100% so I thought I'd just do the one video today but I've used it on my eyes today so I probably won't do this tutorial unless you want that then let me know but if there's any sort of requests of any of the shades you want in a tutorial then I'll put them in but yeah so look out for that on Saturday so that's all for this video I hope you enjoyed seeing the new MAC palette and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also subscribe if you don't want to miss any more videos from me so thank you so much for watching I will see you in my next video bye hey guys welcome to my September favourites video I'm going to be showing you all the makeup skincare and I've got one hair care bit as well that I've been loving in September I'm going to start with makeup the first thing I've been loving this month is this MAC Pet and Prime Skin Primer it's the MAC Pet and Prime Skin Base Visage but I think it's just Pet and Prime